So I just had surgery on Monday this week, which was about seven days ago, uh, on my chin. And it hurts really bad when I touch it. So I try not to touch it and I can feel it as I'm speaking right now. Ooh, it's super swollen. Do you see it? Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about today was financing your surgery. Because this is something that I have had enough time to think about now that I've actually financed um, two of my surgeries and I've spent a lot of money, uh, a luxury vehicle's worth of money on FFS. Now that I have the chance to look back at that, I wanted to share with you some of my thoughts and regrets about how I've financed this surgery. So I think the smart thing that I did is I invested early in shares in the stock market and then was able to sell those at a profit and use that to finance my surgery. That's great. However, there are smarter ways that I could have done that and that is something that I've been reflecting on because of my conversation that I had with Dr. Kyo Jampa in my next podcast, which you should be seeing soon. I talked to him about financing your surgery and one of the things that I thought was really interesting was he was saying that one of his clients who is an attorney actually took a part-time job at Starbucks to then be able to get trans healthcare coverage to then be able to have that covered and go to see him, which I thought was a brilliant way of basically funding the whole thing without having to pay for it. Also, now that I live in Washington, Washington actually covers all surgeries that are transgender. And so I could also have gone that route, but that happened this year and I wouldn't have known about that. So I think I just made a little bit more of a rushed decision to just move fast and to use money to get there really quickly. But now looking back at how I am thinking about these things and how I value money more, um, and saving it, I think I would have gone a route of find uh, a place that already has health insurance that can support me, like go work for Starbucks part time, or um, go move to a state where the trans health care is covered so I don't have to spend all of my money on my trans health care issues that are not normally covered by health insurance. So I don't know where you are in your health insurance uh, journey or how you're thinking about surgery, but these are some things to really consider and think about, which is uh, what's your strategy with financing your surgery? Are you planning to pay out of pocket or do you think you can manage to figure out a way to find some healthcare coverage for you? What kind of companies out there might accept you and give you healthcare coverage? Do you have the patience to wait and move through this more paperwork intensive process to get healthcare coverage? And, um, you know, is, is that going to be worth it to you? Like, would you rather have $60,000 saved up and invested in something else? I know now what I'm thinking I would do is I would rather have that $60,000, you know, it was expensive. <laughs> um, so short video today, but I wanted to share this with you. Um, please join my Discord community. We have a group and we help people and hang out with people who are transitioning. It's all about personal growth and stuff like that. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.